السلام علیکم آہا ہا ہا پہلے تو میں بات کروں گی نا اس کہوے کی جو کہ ہمارے میک اپ آرٹسٹ ہیں اور انگزیب پراچا صاحب جن کو ہم پیار سے مونو بھائی کہتے ہیں آج کل موسم بدلا ہوا ہے اور وہ یہ سوغات ہم سب کو پلاتے رہتے ہیں خود ان کا کچھ اپنا بنایا ہوا ایک نسخہ ہے ابھی میں تیار ہو رہی تھی شو کے لیے تو انہوں نے کہا آپ کاوا پیئیں گی میں نے کہا وائی ناٹ تو انہوں نے میرے ہاتھ میں جاتے رہتے کب تھما دیا تو میں نے کہا کہ میں اوپننگ بھی اسی کہوے کے ساتھ کروں گی جی کیسے ہیں آپ آپ کا پچھلا ہفتہ امید کرتی ہوں بہت اچھا گزرا ہوگا موسم بہت بدل چکا ہے خوشگوار ہو چکا ہے ابھی پچھلے دنوں تھوڑی سی ذرا بارش بھی ہوئی ہے تو آئی ہوپ کہ آپ لوگوں کی بھی اب تھوڑی سی ایکٹیویٹیز جو ہیں وہ تھوڑی سی تبدیل ہوئی ہوں گی کیونکہ گرمی کا جب ہم لوگ بہت زیادہ مقابلہ کر کر کے تھک جاتے ہیں نا تو پھر گھر بیٹھ جاتے ہیں بٹ شدید گرمی اور شدید سردی دونوں میں کچھ نہیں ہو پاتا ہے ابھی تھوڑا سا موسم بدل گیا ہے تو اپنے آپ کو ایکسرسائز کا عادی بنائیں اپنی تھوڑی سی روٹین چینج کریں واک کے ٹائمنگز رکھیں اپنی مصروف زندگی سے اپنی صحت کے لیے اپنے لیے کچھ پل کچھ لمحے نکالنا ضروری سمجھے جی ہاں موسم کے بہانے اب چلے گئے تو یہ تو تھی ہماری اوپننگ آج کا شو جو ہے وہ بڑا انٹرسٹنگ ہے کیونکہ ہمارے پاس بڑے انٹرسٹنگ مہمان ہیں آج ایک بہت مزیدار سی جگہ ہے آپ کو دکھانے کے لیے اور وہ جگہ جو ہے دیر از نن ادر دین پولینڈ جی ہاں آج ہم آپ کو لے کے جا رہے ہیں پولینڈ وجہ یہ ہے اس کی خاص وجہ ہے کہ یہ جو مہینہ ہے اور یہ اگلا جو آنے والا مہینہ ہے اس میں پاکستان اور پولینڈ کے ساٹھ سالہ تعلقات جو ہیں وہ مکمل ہوں گے اور ان ساٹھ سالوں کو منانے کے لیے پاکستان اور پولینڈ جو ہیں وہ شیکنگ ہینڈس اور بہت ساری تقریبات بھی ہونے والی ہیں اور آج کا جو شو ہے وہ ہم نے نام کیا ہے پولینڈ کے میری خود تھوڑی سی ذاتی افیلیشن اس لیے پولینڈ سے کہ جب میں یونیورسٹی میں تھی تو میری ایک بیسٹ فرینڈ ہے وہ پولش ہیں وہ دس سال پاکستان میں رہی ہیں میرے ساتھ وہ پڑھیں آل دا وے فرام پولینڈ وہ آئیں اور ہمارے ساتھ وہ پاکستان کی یونیورسٹی میں ہمارے ساتھ انہوں نے چار سال وہاں پہ پڑھا اور اس کے بعد اگلے چھ سال بھی وہ پاکستان میں رہیں میری بہت عزیز ہیں اور ان کو بھی پاکستان بہت پسند تھا پھر اس کے بعد آہستہ آہستہ ان کی وجہ سے پولش کمیونٹی جو پاکستان میں ان کے ساتھ بھی انٹروڈکشن ہوتا رہا تو مجھے پتہ چلا کہ پاکستان جو ہے وہ پولش کمیونٹی میں کتنا مشہور ہے ایون پولینڈ کے لوگ اس کو کتنا پسند کرتے ہیں اور ایک اور وجہ بھی یہ ہے کہ بہت ساری سملیرٹیز ہیں ان کے کلچر میں اور ہمارے کلچر میں کہ جو کہ آگے جا کے آج کے پروگرام میں آپ کو پتہ چلے گا کوئی اور آپ کو بتائے گا بہت اسپیشل گیسٹ ہیں وہ آئے ہیں اور وہ بتائیں گے کہ کیا وہ مماثلتیں ہیں پاکستان اور پولینڈ کے درمیان جن کی وجہ سے یہ تعلقات جو ہیں وہ مضبوط سے مضبوط تر ہوتے چلے جا رہے ہیں تو ابھی ہم آپ کو پولینڈ لے جانے سے پہلے کچھ اس کی ہسٹری کے بارے میں بتاتے ہیں کہ پولینڈ سب سے زیادہ نون کس بات کی وجہ سے ہے پولینڈ جو ہے وہ انفارچونیٹلی جنگ کی وجہ سے جو ہے وہ مشہور تو نہیں کہہ سکتے لیکن جانا جاتا ہے اور جنگ وہ تھی جو ان پر مسلط کی گئی تھی وہ اس کا حصہ کبھی بھی نہیں تھے جرمنی کے ساتھ ان کا بارڈر لگتا ہے اور جرمنی میں جو ہے وہ جنگ اسٹارٹ ہو گئی تھی نائنٹین تھرٹی نائن میں جی ہاں میں بات کر رہی ہوں سیکنڈ ورلڈ وار کی نائنٹین تھرٹی ایٹ اور نائنٹین تھرٹی نائن میں یہ وار جو ہے وہ اسٹارٹ ہو گئی تھی وہاں پر جو کچھ پولینڈ میں رہنے والے کچھ یہودی تھے ان کے خلاف وہاں پر جرمنوں کا جو ہے وہ نعرہ بلند ہوا تھا اور جرمنی میں جو رہنے والے یہودی تھے وہ پھر سارے کے سارے پولینڈ آ اور پھر پولینڈ نے جب ان کو پناہ دی تو جرمنی نے پولینڈ پہ اٹیک کر دیا اسپیشلی جو ان کی سٹی ہے وارسا وہ اس معاملے میں بہت زیادہ ایک شہرت رکھتی ہے کہ زیادہ تر ریفیوجیز وہیں پر تھے اور سب سے زیادہ اٹیک جو ہوئے سیکنڈ ورلڈ وار میں وارسا پہ اسی وجہ سے ہوئے لیکن جیسے ہی وار ختم ہوئی جنگ ختم ہوئی انیس میں تو انہوں نے اپنے ملک کو ری بلڈ کرنا شروع کر دیا اور آج آپ جب پولینڈ دیکھیں گے جب ہم آپ کو دکھائیں گے کہ انہوں نے کیسے فرام دا اسکریچ ٹوٹی پھوٹی بلڈنگیں زخم سے چور تھے وہ لوگ ان کے مرد جو ہے وہ بہت کثیر تعداد میں انہوں نے جو ہے وہ ان کی ہلاکتیں ہوئیں اس جنگ میں لیکن انہوں نے ہمت نہیں ہاری اور انہوں نے اپنے ملک کو ری بلڈ کیا تو آج جب آپ پولینڈ کی سیر کریں گے تو آپ وہ ساری جگہیں بھی دیکھیں گے جو کہ وار کے حوالے سے بھی مشہور ہیں اور ویسے اب کا جو پولینڈ ہے وہ دیکھیں گے تو آپ حیران ہو پریشان ہو جائیں گے دوسری چیز یہ ہے کہ مماثلتوں میں اور بھی بہت ساری چیزیں ہیں جن میں کہ ان کا ان کی جو ان کا ڈیفینس سسٹم ہے وہ بہت مضبوط ہے وہ بہت زیادہ اپنے جو ڈیفینس کو سیریس لیتے ہیں اور وہاں پر اس طرح کی ٹیکنیکس اور بہت ساری ایسی ٹیکنالوجیز ہیں انٹروڈیوس کرائی گئی ہیں ڈیفینس کے معاملے میں کیونکہ کیونکہ وہ یہ چاہتے ہیں کہ ایک دفعہ ہم نے جو جنگ سے نقصان اٹھایا اب دوبارہ
एक्टिव है जब आप पोलैंड जाते हैं तो ज़्यादातर लोग जो पाकिस्तान से पोलैंड गए हैं उन्होंने यही कहा है कि वहाँ के लोग बहुत ज़्यादा मेहमान नवाज़ हैं हमें ज़्यादा जो है वो अजनबीत का एहसास नहीं हुआ जब हम पोलैंड गए और वहाँ के लोग बहुत जल्दी आपके दोस्त बन जाते हैं ये एक बहुत ज़्यादा कॉमन और बहुत अहम फैक्टर है मुझसे अभी एक दिन पहले किसी से बात हो रही थी तो पूछे थे कि आप ट्रैवल करती रहती हैं दुनिया में जाती रहती हैं तो जब आप ट्रैवलिंग करती हैं तो सबसे पहली चीज़ आपको क्या जो है वो फैसिनेट करती है या क्या चीज़ है जो आपके लिए इम्पॉर्टेंट है ड्यूरिंग ट्रैवलिंग मैंने उनसे कहा कि मेरे लिए लोग बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हैं क्योंकि मुझे लोगों से कनेक्ट करना अच्छा लगता है किसी भी मुल्क को उसके लोग बनाते हैं जगह नहीं बनाती कि जगह किसी भी जगह आप बिल्ड कर लेते हैं अब आप देखें ना वो आईफल टावर जो है वो फ्रांस में बना हुआ एक आईफल टावर आपको यहाँ पाकिस्तान में भी मिल जाएगा जिसके आगे जो है हर किसी ने अपनी भी तस्वीरें खींची होती हैं स्टैचू ऑफ लिबर्टी आपके न्यूयॉर्क में बना हुआ और एक स्टैचू ऑफ लिबर्टी आपको पाकिस्तान में भी मिल रहा है तो बिल्डिंग्स तो कहीं भी बन सकती हैं जैसी लेकिन लोग जो है ना वो होते हैं असल में जो किसी भी जगह को बनाते हैं तो पोलैंड के लोग जो हैं वो बहुत ज़्यादा इस मामले में मशहूर हैं तो अभी चलिए चल के हम सैर करते हैं पोलैंड की और आप में से वो लोग जो के इंटरेस्ट रखते हैं पोलैंड में जाके पढ़ना पोलैंड को जाके एक्सप्लोर करना वहाँ घूमना फिरना उनके लिए एक बहुत अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी है कि थोड़ा सा वो अंदाज़ा कर लें कि पोलैंड कैसा है और फिर उसके बाद वो फैसला करें कि उन्होंने वहाँ जाके क्या करना है चलिए चलते हैं पोलैंड जी हो आया आप पोलैंड से मज़ा आया मुझे भी बहुत मज़ा आया देख कर इतना मज़ा आया कि अभी तक मैं खुद वैसे ज़्यादा तौर पे पोलैंड नहीं गई थी लेकिन इस पैकेज को देख के ना मेरा थोड़ा सा मन कर रहा है कि मैं भी अब पोलैंड जाऊँ तो आप लोग भी ज़रूर जो है वो अगर आप जा सकते हैं तो जाइए अदरवाइज़ हम हैं ना आपको यहाँ पर घर बैठे जगह दिखाने के लिए आ, इसी कड़ी का जो है वो दूसरा सिलसिला है हमारे मेहमान बहुत ही एक ख़ास कस्म के मेहमान हैं जिनसे हम आपको मिलवाएंगे जो पोलैंड के बारे में मज़ीद आपको तफसी देंगे लेकिन उससे पहले ज़रूरी है एक ब्रेक कहीं मत जाइएगा हमारे साथ रहिएगा हम आते हैं वापस अभी थोड़ी देर में मैंने आपको ब्रेक पे जाने से पहले बताया था कि हमारे पास एक बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग मेहमान है जिनके लिए आज मैं तो बहुत ही खुश हूँ जब पहली बार मैं इनसे मिली थी तो मुझे नहीं अंदाज़ा था कि एक दिन ये मेरे शो पर तशरीफ़ लाएंगे और मेरे साथ इनकी यहाँ पर कैजुअल सी गप शप होगी Uh, we have the the ambassador of Poland with us, His Excellency Mr. Maciej Pisarski. Welcome to the show. Salam alaikum. I am happy to be here. Wa alaikum assalam. That was a very fine and perfect salam that you have just said. <laughs> fine, my best. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you're, you're you're practicing your Urdu real well, right? <laughs> well, mera naam Maciej Pisarski hu. Very nice. Me Poland ka sahay. Khub, bahut khub. Clapping. <laughs> That's very finely said because you know Urdu uh, I mean learning Urdu and then speaking Urdu are two different things. Yeah. It's it's a bit difficult that uh, you have uh, you know you have achieved a lot. Wow, in just a very few uh, months of time. <laughs> well, I should have uh, worked harder uh-huh. but uh, this is a very beautiful language. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a little bit different than Polish uh-huh. uh, and the languages I uh, uh-huh. I I happen to know but uh, the more it is interesting to uh, ah, to learn it right mm. right okay so my first and formal question of course this is not going to be a formal talk mm-hmm. uh probably this is the first ever tv interview where you will be having a casual talk with us right so be yourself <laughs> first things first i want to know that when first they broke it down to you and they gave mm. the news to you that pakistan is going to be your next mission What were your initial thoughts? Were you scared? Were you like you had mixed feelings or I mean I want to know that what was in your mind when first you got the news? Uh, well, first uh, it was my choice. Okay. Uh I wanted to uh come here. Right. Uh when I learned about the opportunity, I was uh, both uh, uh intrigued and uh, mm-hmm. I was very much interested uh in doing this uh this job. Right. Uh, so I knew that uh, Pakistan is a relatively young uh, country yes. speaking in terms of uh, its statehood mm-hmm. but it had a long history yes. very vibrant one very uh, diverse that this is a country of mm-hmm. many nationalities many languages many yeah. many cultures uh, and then it would be a uh, very interest interesting to study Yes. and then, and to learn it uh, to learn more about it mm-hmm. yes so uh, i would say uh, yes uh, the i was very much uh, 
intrigued and encouraged mm -hmm. uh, to uh, accept this position. Right, right. So when you landed here and you started connecting with the people and started getting a hang of the system, what were your thoughts then? I mean, how did they change or did you start liking it more? Did, did you struggle to, to learn the system? I mean, now I want to know that, what do you think now? <laughs> No, I mean, all the predictions that I made before uh, coming uh, here turned out to be true. That okay. indeed, this is a very interesting, right. very complex, mm -hmm. very vibrant uh, society. At the same time, uh, one can only appreciate it mm -hmm. uh, only in being uh, inside. Uh, right. You know, only by having day-to-day uh, -day encounters with, mm -hmm. with people of this country, mm -hmm. uh, you know, only by living um, here, walking uh, streets of Islamabad and other right. other beautiful Pakistani uh, cities. So, of course, uh, theoretical uh, theor theor theoretical uh, knowledge mm -hmm. uh, was not enough. Okay, so that's what you developed here when you landed yes. here, right? right? And I'm very much in the process of learning. Okay, more. okay. <laughs> Best of luck with that. Thank you very much. <laughs> because, you know, um, Pakistan is a very interesting country. Yes, it Every is. day is a new day here. You might be living here for like three, four years and you'd be thinking that, okay, I know probably everything about this country. And then the next day there's something new coming your way. And you'll be like, okay, let's start from the fresh. <laughs> well, you know, what can I say? One has to be very careful about reporting. Um, uh, about Pakistan yes. because with uh, with uh, certainty yeah. because you know yeah. next day exactly. next corner next news because there are like be a, a lot of different. cultures we have we don't have one culture we have a lot of cultures it matters from city to city we have different languages like languages changing every hundred kilometers you might know that as well so yes. with the language you know culture changes the food changes the dresses change the norms change so yeah, you have a long way to learn about this, this place. <laughs> well, and you know, there is nothing like uh, ultimate knowledge. Yeah? I exactly. mean, it's uh, the more you know, the more you know Absolutely. that you don't know. And Absolutely. then new questions uh, um, arrive, and then you look at the things from different angles. Yeah. And I think that this is uh, very enriching, this is a mm -hmm. very inspiring uh, experience that yeah. really brings a lot of satisfaction and also drive to learn more. Absolutely. Your Excellency, I would like to know that, um, did you feel, like uh, up until now we were just talking about the differences, that you know, we are a different country and you're coming from a different yeah. country as well. But now we would like you to talk about the similarities that you have found between the Polish people and the Pakistani pe people, or the Polish culture and the Pakistani culture. Right. Yes, of course, uh, on the surface, Pakistan and Poland are distant countries. I mean, mm -hmm. There's a huge uh, uh, distance that uh, separates both countries. Okay. Uh, but I think that uh, we share some key values. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, like the Pakistanis, uh, Poles are fiercely independent. Mm -hmm. We know that independence comes always with a price. Exactly. That, we, that needs to be defended, needs mm -hmm. to be cherished. It cannot be taken for granted. Like Pakistanis, uh, Poles uh, are very much attached to their families. Okay. Uh, you have a strong their, family system there. Oh, yes. Uh, to their uh, traditions uh, mm -hmm. and customs. And I think that uh, these are very important features because mm -hmm. these values really um, give us strength in this rapidly changing uh, mm -hmm. international uh, en environment. Uh, we need to uh, be aware about who we are. This is, this is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Like Pakistanis, Poles are hospitable uh, mm -hmm. people. Uh, you have uh, welcomed and uh, host uh, millions of refugees from your, na from your yes. uh, neighbor. Uh, Poles uh, have welcomed uh, also um, millions of refugees from a neighboring country, mm -hmm. this is of course Ukraine, yeah, exactly. uh, in the wake of the um, uh, war there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and we can, you know, go on and, and really build on, on, mm -hmm. on this uh, community of, of, of values, a picture yes. of a 
societies that are not that really Absolutely. distant. Uh, like just like Pakistan, another. you have internal challenges and then you have external challenges. Of course. And you are fighting well with both at the same time. This is always a struggle. This is mm -hmm. always a work in progress. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, the uh, situation in Europe these days is, is very uh, yeah. complicated. As I mentioned, we have uh, a war mm -hmm. raging on our borders, literally. Mm -hmm. Which is sad that it's like mm -hmm. we have entered 2022 and there are people who still think that war is a solution. Yes, Very unfortunate. Yes. They are. They, uh, they are. And this is, that was a, a very important wake-up uh, call uh, mm -hmm. to, to most of Europeans. Because right. after the Second World War, mm -hmm. after the uh, uh, collapse of, this, uh, of, mm -hmm. of the communist system and the Soviet Union, we thought that uh, wars belong to the past, that, you know, that we finally got it. Mm -hmm. After two World uh, Wars, which originated in Europe, and yeah. brought Europe mo almost to the verge of destruction, mm -hmm. that we would learn something. Exactly. That no war, more war. No, no more. Uh, but it's this is restarting. Yeah, this is this is restarting. So it tells it tells a lot about mm. uh, about human nature. I mean, the, the dark side of the human exactly. nature. Exactly. I mean, they learn, but they, they don't practice what they learn. Yes. Yes. But there are things we can do. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, there, are, there, are think, uh, there are things we can do in order to uh, sustain and defend our values. And I think mm -hmm. that this is a very important fight. And we, we wish you all the best in this mission because, of course, um, this is not something that you are doing a favor to a neighboring country, but it is a favor to the entire mankind, humankind to, you know, make your effort in order to stop the war and making people think that this is not the solution, you know, bringing them on a table to communicate and solve the problem. So we wish you all the best for that. My next question is um, kind of a little important and interesting at the same time, which should be, uh, must be very uh, close to your heart as well. You have been to a lot of missions uh, in, during your, you know, uh, services and all, and you've been serving in a lot of countries. Of all these countries, which one of the, the countries are the most interesting to you and they still mm. remind you and you become happy in your sad moments you know thinking about the stories some stories that that you know happened there and they became a lifetime memory for you well I, I have uh, 25 years of experience in a, a foreign service okay but actually I served only in two places it was Washington DC and okay. in <laughs> right <laughs> so I spent 20 years uh, uh, doing Polish American relations and right. transatlantic relations and and I felt uh, that it was time time for me to change mm -hmm. gears to, right. to uh, explore to experience, more to explore more because uh, you know the, the the world is much, much more interesting, mm -hmm. uh, interesting, uh, much more multi-dimensional. So I'm very uh, happy with this um, uh, uh, with this decision, and you know, and whatever I have experienced mm -hmm. is kind of inside me. So right. I would have been a completely different uh, uh, person if I not had uh, had. Mm -hmm. uh, this experience. Right, right. So, I mean, there is no comparison, of course, with DC and Pakistan, but then again, I would still want to know that are you enjoying here more? <laughs> yes, I am. I am. I can tell that. <laughs> I am. Yes, I am. Yes. Especially in terms of food. Let's talk about food, Pakistani food. What are your thoughts about it? Well, uh, it's uh, very, of course, very rich, mm -hmm. very tasty. Um, uh, very spicy. Yeah. I, I'm sometimes, sure it, it didn't give you any spicy. trouble <laughs> in the beginning <laughs> because it takes time, you know, to it develop that, that it, taste and It takes time, metabolism. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, we are having some sort of uh, fusion uh, right. cuisine in, okay. in our residence because okay. uh, we would mixing like... Mixing Polish and Pakistani Polish and Pakistani dishes. because we... Um, uh, we would like to treat our guests to, to, right. to, uh, to Polish food, of course, mm -hmm. but our Polish uh, so I can see visitors a lot of are being treated to, to, to big Pakistan. Right, food. right. So I can see a lot of cultural exchange happening at your place, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Interesting, mm -hmm. right. Okay, um, so yes, how much potential do you see in uh, collaboration between Polish and Pakistani culture? Because like, mm. we've already spoken about the similarities. Um, so right. do you think that uh, in, in terms of cultural collaboration, or by culture I mean, you know, um, art, music, um, even education, 
do you think that there are potentials and there are horizons where both the countries can meet and you know join hands and do wonders together? Absolutely, uh, mm -hmm. there are. Um, and I strongly believe that the uh, cultural exchanges uh, belong to the uh, one of the most important uh, uh, instruments in a diplomatic toolbox. Right. Uh, because uh, bringing people together is essential uh, to not only to allow them to um, learn and appreciate more about mm -hmm. one another, but also to build a more peaceful, more open, more tolerant mm -hmm. uh, uh, world. So I believe that this is a very important uh, mm -hmm. part of our diplomatic mission um, to allow, in my case, the mm -hmm. uh, Pakistani people to learn more about Polish culture. But also, uh, I would like to do more mm -hmm. uh, to bring uh, Pakistani culture to Poland because right. um, I strongly believe that this country uh, des deserves a better mm -hmm. image Absolutely. that it um, has uh, uh, right now. Right. Uh, in a, and I would like my compatriots to, mm -hmm. you know, to, to, to know, to learn, and to appreciate Pakistan the way mm -hmm. I am doing. Right, right. Um, so, what is the most interesting thing that you have found in Pakistan and you think that once you, you leave this place, you will miss that the most? Well, um, there are of course beautiful places. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a chance to visit uh, Kalam in Sawat okay. and I still have the image of those uh -huh. you know, the majestic <laughs> uh, mountains, uh, still and uh, mm -hmm. uh, really are uh, peaceful. Uh, the image still brings me uh, this uh, uh, moment of uh, calm mm -hmm. uh, reflection and the yearning to uh, to go uh, to go back. But I would like to say another story. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, this past March we were invited to the Islamabad airport okay. uh, to uh, greet uh, uh, together with the foreign secretary a mm -hmm. group of Pakistani students. Mm -hmm. who uh, returned uh, to Pakistan to their home okay. uh, from Poland. But um, actually they, they fled Ukraine, which was okay. involved in, you know, in, a, in, a, in war. Uh, they were students who used to study there, mm -hmm. but because of war they couldn't not, uh, they could not continue. So they went to Poland and uh, from Poland they uh, came um, back home. Mm -hmm. And we worked together with the Pakistani uh, authorities, uh, right. foreign ministry and embassy to bring them. So this moment uh, was a very uh, gratifying. I mean, we saw, yes, tired, exhausting mm -hmm. uh, faces, uncertain about their future, but at the same time happy that they really uh, finally um, could see their parents mm -hmm. and relatives. Uh, but also, you know, we had this sense of accomplishment that, mm -hmm. you know, we did something uh, uh, for mm -hmm. our people mm -hmm. uh, and we did it um, while cooperating uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, with one another. Right. So that was, that was really very uh, emotional, very mm -hmm. touching. What a very uh, inspirational moment mm -hmm. for us. Right, mm -hmm. right. Your Excellency, you just uh, mentioned about your visit to Kalam, where you were inspired by the natural beauty, and this is what Pakistan is known for, uh, you know, organic beauty when it comes to, you know, green fields, the, mm -hmm. the mountains, um, even the, the meadows and all. But Pakistan is one of, unfortunately, one of those countries which is being badly affected by yes. the climate change. Yes. Uh, despite the fact that it's always surfacing the news that Pakistan has, uh, you know, less than one percent um, uh, of its part mm -hmm. in carbon emission, mm -hmm. but the, the effects are coming immediately and readily towards this part of the world. Um, do you think that there are again any possibilities where Pakistan and Poland can join hands in order to? Um, I mean, it's just a suggestion that you can come up with. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there is anything in the pipeline, but then again, do you think that there are possibilities where Poland can help Pakistan or, you know, Pakistan can join uh, Poland in, in this cause and, you know, be part or, you know, an amb ambassador of the climate change? Yes, um, a very good question. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me start with expressing my uh, sympathy and mm -hmm. condolences to, to the Pakistani people and all affected uh, mm -hmm. by this terrible uh, that's tragedy. very kind of you. Um, 
we try we are trying to do also our part we we uh, have supplied uh, some assistance to mm -hmm. to to un organizations mm -hmm. who bring help uh, uh, to the um, people uh, in need mm -hmm. uh, some of uh, our non governmental institutions mm -hmm. uh, have also been involved in the uh, effort uh, in the effort uh, basically um, directed to um, you know, alleviate a little mm -hmm. bit uh, the, the the pains uh, mm -hmm. of, of, of of this of this terrible uh, ter terrible disaster. But I think that you are very right, pointing to the fact that this is uh, uh, this is a, a universal problem that, mm -hmm. that affected Pakistan uh, very very badly. So mm -hmm. we need to work together as as the whole um, world, as a whole uh, mm -hmm. global community. Uh, to solve uh, these problems, right. and I believe that there are uh, that uh, there are uh, areas where Poland and Pakistan uh, mm -hmm. uh, can uh, uh, can um, uh, collaborate. Uh, we are also facing uh, some adverse effects of the climate change, of mm -hmm. course, not to the scale that the Pakistan has been confronted mm -hmm. with. But I think that we can also uh, share some of, of our expertise when mm -hmm. it comes to green energy. Right. Um, uh, you know, we can also uh, share some expertise regarding, you know, smart cities, uh, making them more uh, you know, green, uh, mm -hmm. more livable places. Uh, we in Poland are also fighting with the issue of air quality. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Which so is again uh, another similarity with Pakistan. Yes, yes. We yes, have, yes, uh, yes. Now, winters are on the way and uh, it's going to be a huge issue in Pakistan as well. Absolutely. I and mean, Poland has been in transition from uh, electricity generated mostly mm -hmm. uh, from coal yes. uh, into more sustainable, uh, more e uh, environmental friendly uh, mm -hmm. sources of uh, uh, of energy. Unfortunately, that war really mm -hmm. uh, is an uh, important obstacle uh, mm -hmm. to achieve these goals because uh, uh, the now the um, supplies of gas uh, uh, have been uh, disrupted. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there is also an, an ecological uh, adverse uh, consequence mm -hmm. of you know of the fighting. Right. But I believe that uh, uh, there are areas mm -hmm. that Poland and Pakistan. Uh, can collaborate. One, uh, one of them would be also the water management. Okay. Uh, it's much needed. Might need, might much needed. I mean, Poland is suffering mm -hmm. from the shortage mm -hmm. of water, actually. Yes. And, and I think it's a, it's a global issue these days now. I mean, every now and then there are predictions being made that, you know, in the, rest, in the next 10 years or in the next 20 years, the world will, you know, um, see no no drinking water or clean water and it, it is already becoming a problem yes. in uh, the mm -hmm. underdeveloped countries and especially countries like Pakistan so we should foresee to these matters and you know have some readily available solutions for that absolutely I mean uh, one of the problems contri contribution in this field was uh, that we hosted uh, um, uh, several uh, rounds of the uh, negotiations mm -hmm. under uh, Un United Nations that uh, Right. really led up to this uh, Paris uh, um, ag ag agreement. Mm -hmm. Now we need to make sure that this is being implemented. Right. So, Your Excellency, keeping all these similarities in mind, where do you see the Polish and Pakistani relationship going in the next uh, coming years? Yes. Oh, uh, first, let me say that uh, we have a special year. This is a year of 60th anniversary of Polish-Pakistani relations. Okay. So uh, it's been already a long time. We right. have accomplished a, a, a lot, and we have even more mm -hmm. to accomplish in the in the future. Mm -hmm. But I would like to say that uh, this relationship started uh, really before uh, Pakistan as a as a state uh, okay. was born. Uh, thousands of Polish uh, wartime ref refugees mm -hmm. who fled the Soviet Union. They found a, a, a shelter here in uh, right. what today is Pakistan in, in Karachi and and and, wow, and that's news for me. <laughs> So they were, uh, you know, um, heartedly uh, mm -hmm. received by by the Pakistani, oh, the, the local the people then, who okay. then became Pakistan. Right. Then there was a very interesting uh, chapter of our joint, our common history, 
uh, after the Second World War, a group of Polish uh, pilots mm -hmm. okay. um, came to, to Pakistan and they helped uh, building Pakistani air forces. All right. Uh, some of them pirates building the air force. Yes. Wow. Some, yes, yeah, yeah. some <laughs> very talented pi pirates they were. <laughs> they were, and some of them uh, made Pakistan their home. Okay. Um, Especially uh, 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 one uh, family is worth mentioning. Okay. Um, family of uh, Władysław Turowicz, who could then mm -hmm. became Commodore Turowicz in the Pakistani uh, Air right. Forces. Um, he was uh, um, one of the uh, founders of Pakistan's uh, science and missiles uh, program, and okay. his wife Zofia was a glider instructor, Very and they were. Nice. Uh, children and grandchildren are still live mm -hmm. in Pakistan. Okay. So, uh, uh, you know, there is this uh, hu human-to-human -human connection, okay. very intimate one, and something that we are very proud of and we mm -hmm. would like to pro propagate the knowledge right. about, uh, right. about this So, chapter. So the, the celebrations are on their way? The 60 years of Pak-Poland uh, relationships? Yes, yes, we are trying to concentrate on, on the future, though, and, okay. and, and see, you know, how we can For expand our, our cooperation okay. in the fields of investment and trade and human-to-human okay. um, -human, uh, uh, relations and of course our mm -hmm. political dialogue is, is, is very important. As well, best of luck, best of luck. I'm, I'm so amazed to know these stories because oh. up until now I just knew, I, I just thought that okay the things that you spoke about we have these similarities but I did not know that Polish people actually had their contributions yes. in uh, you know in our projects. We, we are very proud of them. So are we. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Ambassador, it was so wonderful of you for being here with Thank us. Thank you very much. Um, before we wind up, I would like you to deliver any message for the Pakistani youth and especially the people who are going through, you know, these um, tough times, especially in terms of flood and all. So if you have any message for people who are watching you, that would be great. Yes, I, I, th I would like to build on what we, has, uh, what we have discussed already, mm -hmm. that we are children of the same planet. Mm -hmm that uh, there, there is always more that unites us, mm -hmm. that uh, divides us. And then uh, we should uh, really try to learn from another, to explore our cultures, our, our heritages, because uh, they can be a powerful a source of, uh, um, uh, of a better, of making this world a better, a better period better place to live for for everybody thank you so much thank you it very was much really wonderful having you here thank you it was a pleasure pleasure <laughs> 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 his excellency mr maciej pisarski the polish ambassador to pakistan abhi hum lete hain ek chota sa break kahi mat jaiyega wapas aake humne kuch aur baatein bhi karni hain so milte hain break ke baad nahi nahi ये तो हीन मुझसे नहीं होगी इंस्ट्रूमेंट बहुत मुकद्दस है मेरे लिए ये काम उस्तादों के लिए होता है आपको क्या लगा मैं बजाने लगी हूँ नहीं काश के इतनी टैलेंटेड होती मैं मेरे से बहुत दुगने चुगने टैलेंटेड इस वक्त हमारे मेहमान यहाँ पे मौजूद हैं जो आपको वायलिन बजाना बताएंगे हमारे एक बहुत डेर मेहमान है हमारे साथ जनाब नदीम लॉरेंस साहब बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपका आने का और ये आपकी अमानत आपको वापस पहुँचाती हूँ प्लीज़ ये बड़ा एक भारी काम था जो मैंने अपने जिम्मे लेने की कोशिश की लेकिन मैं कर नहीं सकी नदीम साहब कैसे हैं आप आप आज काफ़ी सारे इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स के साथ हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं जिनमें कि एक तो ये फ्लूट है एक ये वायलिन है कब से स्टार्ट किया पहले तो ये बताइएगा अच्छा लॉन्ग टाइम और स्टिल आई एम लर्निंग हाउ टू कम्पोज न्यू सॉन्ग्स राइट एंड हाउ टू प्ले दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट इट इज रियली अ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंड लॉन्ग लेंथ इंस्ट्रूमेंट हाउ टू प्ले इट इज नॉट इजी राइट अच्छा आप एटी वन से बजा रहे हैं एंड यू स्टिल कंसिडरिंग के आप लर्निंग फेज में तो बहुत मतलब मैं ये कहूँगी कि तो बहुत हम्बल ने साथ में शो किया कि हमारे यहाँ आजकल अंडे से निकलते हैं आर्टिस्ट कहलाना शुरू कर देते हैं अपने आप को कॉन्फिडेंस है उसकी वजह यह दे हैव ओनली वन इंस्ट्रूमेंट सम ऑफ देम दे आर ओनली ड्रामर राइट सम ऑफ देम दे आर ओनली गिटारिस्ट राइट वट इज माई जॉब माई जॉब इज टू प्रमोट न्यू स्टूडेंट्स ओके फॉर द सेक ऑफ दिस टैलेंट आई हैव टू प्ले ईच एंड एवरी इंस्ट्रूमेंट 
शादियों वाला बाजा भी जाता हूँ फिल्म चल रही है उसके पीछे जो म्यूजिक बज रहा होता है ना मैं उसको इंजॉय करता हूँ क्योंकि वो एक्सप्रेशन को एनहेंस करता है म्यूजिक और उसके ऊपर बड़ी मेहनत होती है सही वो हर किसी को समझ नहीं आ रहा था सही साहब आप हैं टीचर टीचर की जिंदगी बड़े मजे की होती है मैं खुद भी टीचर रह चुकी हूँ बच्चों के साथ जो रिलेशनशिप होता है ना और फिर सिखाने वाला जो एक रिलेशनशिप होता है उसकी बात ही कुछ और होती है कोई और प्रोफेशन उससे रिलेट नहीं कर सकता आप म्यूजिशियन भी हैं और आप टीचर भी हैं आप बताइए कि बच्चों के साथ जब आप उनको सिखा रहे होते हैं तो आपका कैसा एक्सपीरियंस होता है कोई फनी स्टोरी ऐसी हुई हो कि जो अभी आपको आपके जन मेरा हमेशा फनी स्टोरी अभी मैं आ रहा था स्कूल से तो देर वर टू स्टूडेंट सो दे केम फ्रॉम कराची okay. उनकी लैंग्वेज थोड़ी फ़र्क थी मैं बातें करते करते इंजॉय करना शुरू हो गया वो कह रहे थे मेरे को यहाँ पे आए तीन दिन हुए अच्छा। मैंने कहा मेरे को भी यहाँ पे आए छः साल हो गए <laughs> तो मैं उनकी लैंग्वेज से सीख रहा था और उस लैंग्वेज का मज़ा ले रहा था और आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू दैम मोर बिकॉज वेन वी टॉक टू एनी बडी वी लर्न न्यू थिंग्स एवरी डे वी लर्न न्यू थिंग्स बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली हमें पता नहीं चल रहा होता कि हम क्या सीख रहे हैं तो बींग ए टीचर आपको वो मेलेडीज अब मुझे बताएं कि जो आपको सबसे ज़्यादा मज़ा आता है अपने स्टूडेंट्स को सिखाने में आई वुड लाइक यू कि आप कुछ प्ले करें हमारे लिए ये मुझे मज़ा आता है ये वतन तुम्हारा बिकॉज दे हैव टू अरेंज ऑल पाकिस्तान सरकमस्टेंसेज जैसे ये जा रहा है नीचे को ना जाए फोकस में करता हूँ इस पर कि ये सीखें बच्चे जा रहे थे और मैं अक्सर वायलिनस की ये चीज़ देखती हूँ कि वो उनको ना अपने नेक और चिन के दरमियान उसको होल्ड करना पड़ता है ये काफ़ी डिफिकल्ट है इसको कैसे मैनेज करते हैं आप कोई दर्द छर्द नहीं होता आपको नर्व yes. में अगर आप रोज़ रोज़ ये काम करते हैं ना फिर आप फिर दर्द नहीं होता अच्छा लेकिन शुरू में शुरू में जब आप सीख रहे होते तो माइंडली आप गलत एंगल दबा लें आप ज़रा झुक जाए या आप यहाँ ज़रा देखें तो कभी कभी मैं नहीं भी देख रहा Uh-huh. जब ज़्यादा थक जाता हूँ तो मैं नजरिया हटा लेता हूँ okay. तो वो ब्लाइंड प्रैक्टिस हो जाती है इसको होल्ड करना कितना जरूरी है लेकिन इसको होल्ड करना इतना जरूरी है कि अगर आप इसको छोड़ देंगे तो ये आपकी ग्रिप खत्म नीचे जाएगी। की तरफ जाएगी okay. और आपका सूर नहीं बचेगा सही 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 okay, ये भी है राइट राइट इसके ऊपर बदल आ रहा है बिल्कुल नदीम साहब ये तो होगी आपकी स्टूडेंट्स की फेवरेट धुन जो आप उनको सिखाते हैं अभी हम आप से आपकी फेवरेट धुन सुनना चाहेंगे कौन सी yes. माई फेवरेट धुन इज फिल्म रोमियो जूलियट एंड आई लर्न दिस इन द बिगिनिंग मैंने आपको ये बताना भूल गया कि ये मैंने वॉलिन सीखी ही 
इस धुन की वजह से कि ये मुझे बजानी है आज वंस अपॉन अ टाइम आई वाज ड्रीमिंग अबाउट वायलिन एंड इन ड्रीम्स आई वाज प्लेइंग दिस मेलोडी सो आई डिसाइडेड दैट आई यस कि मुझे ये करना ही करना है सच्चे हुए खाब है ऐसा हो वाह उसमें मैं बजा रहा था मुझे नहीं पता कि कैसे बजती है सही बट देन आई बाय वायलिन देन आई वर्क ऑन इट लर्न ओके सुनाऊं आप बिल्कुल शुरू <laughs> अभी मेरे सामने फ्लूट भी पड़ी हुई है जी जी. तो आप ये ये भी कितने अरसे से बजा रहे हैं ये भी ये 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 74 से बजा अच्छा ये उससे भी ज़्यादा पुराना ताल्लुक है सबसे लास्ट मैंने ये शुरू किया अच्छा अच्छा और मैंने जो अपना तबला शुरू किया था व्हेन आई वाज ओनली फाइव इयर्स ओल्ड इट इज अलक आई है स्नैप फोर फाइव स्नैप जब मैं बिल्कुल छोटा ही था पाँच साल था तो मैं वो एक शादी थी मेरी मासों की Okay. तो उस पर मैं ढोल की बजा रहा था अच्छा <laughs> तो मेरे वालदे ने संभाल के रखी हुई कि वैन आई वॉज ओनली फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड आई स्टार्टम यस रिदम फ्रॉम ढोलक देन तबला देन ऑल इंस्ट्रूमेंट तो अभी हम फ्लूट पे क्या सुन रहे हैं आपसे फ्लूट पे मैं आपको सुनाता हूँ जो मुझे ही पसंद है और आपको भी साहब आपका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया और अभी हम जाने से पहले आपसे दरख्वास्त करेंगे मैं भी इजाज़त लेती हूँ अपने नाजरीन से लेकिन उसके बाद आपने हमें एक और अपनी कोई फेवरेट धुन जो है वो वायलिन पे सुनानी है जी ये था हमारा आज का शो उम्मीद करते हैं कि आपको पसंद आया होगा आज का शो थोड़ा सा यूनिक था मेहमानों के हवाले से भी जगह के हवाले से भी तो आप अपने फीडबैक से हमें जो आगाह कीजिएगा अगले हफ्ते इन नए मेहमानों के साथ नए कंटेंट के साथ नई जगहों के साथ हम जो है वो आपकी खिदमत में हाजिर होंगे तब तक अपना बहुत सारा ख्याल रखिएगा जाने से पहले हम नदीम साहब से एक और धुन सुनेंगे आपके साथ हम इनशाला अगले हफ्ते मिलेंगे नए मेहमानों के साथ नई जगहों के साथ नए कॉन्टेंट के साथ तब तक के लिए अपना बहुत सारा ख्याल रखिएगा अल्लाह हाफिज़